picture this. You're standing at the helm of a ship. Waves are crashing around you. And storm clouds, well, they're brewing on the horizon. The winds are howling, but you remain calm. Why? Because you're the one holding the wheel, steering through the chaos. Now, imagine this ship is your life, and those waves are your emotions. Powerful, often overwhelming, but you can navigate the storm. Today I'm going to show you how mastering your emotions is not only possible, but crucial to taking full control of your life. Science proves it, experience confirms it, and with practice, emotional mastery can become your greatest tool for personal growth and success. Emotional mastery starts with self-awareness, and there's science to back it up. Daniel Goleman, renowned for his work on emotional intelligence, emphasizes that self-awareness is the foundation of emotional mastery. Studies show that individuals with high emotional intelligence, or EQ, tend to have greater success in both their personal and professional lives. Self-awareness means recognizing your emotions as they happen, understanding what triggers them, and identifying the thoughts that fuel them. It's about stepping back from the emotional storm and observing it before it pulls you under. But how does this work in the brain? Well, the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for rational decision-making, can be hijacked by the amygdala, the emotional center of the brain. During stressful or emotional situations, this is called the amygdala hijack. Now, emotional mastery is the practice of pausing to let your prefrontal cortex regain control. This is where mindfulness and awareness come in. Neuroplasticity research shows that with consistent effort, you can actually rewire your brain to manage emotions better, making this practice not just a mental, but a physiological transformation. Pausing before reacting is key to emotional mastery. Now, when emotions surge, whether it's anger, fear, or frustration, it's tempting to react immediately. But the space between feeling and action is where true mastery lies. Viktor Frankl, an Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist, once said, Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Now, this principle is scientifically supported by studies on emotional regulation. When you pause before reacting, you engage your brain's prefrontal cortex, allowing rational thought to overcome the impulsive reactions governed by the amygdala. And research published in the Journal of Psychological Science found that individuals who practiced mindfulness, paying attention to the present moment without judgment, had better emotional regulation and resilience. When you pause and reflect instead of reacting instantly, you not only control your emotional responses, but also improve long-term emotional well-being. Now, this simple practice strengthens neural pathways related to self-control and emotional regulation, creating long-lasting changes in the brain. Mastering your emotions is about understanding, not suppression. So, let's be clear. Emotional mastery doesn't mean suppressing or ignoring your emotions. Suppression can lead to negative psychological and physiological effects, such as increased anxiety, depression, and even physical health issues. In fact, studies have shown that individuals who suppress their emotions are more likely to experience stress-related illnesses. Instead, emotional mastery is about understanding the messages your emotions are sending you, Emotions are like a GPS system, designed to alert us when something needs attention. For example, anger can signal that our boundaries have been crossed, 
while fear often points to a challenge that requires preparation. Emotional intelligence experts suggest viewing your emotions as data rather than directives. They often offer valuable information, but you choose how to act on that information. And understanding emotions also involves reappraisal and cognitive strategy, where you interpret a potentially negative situation in a more neutral or positive light. Research published in Cognitive Therapy and Research shows that cognitive reappraisal reduces negative emotions and strengthens problem-solving abilities. By changing how you interpret events, you can shift your emotional experience without denying your feelings. Emotional mastery gives you control over your decisions and your life. Now, when you learn to master your emotions, you make decisions based on your goals and values rather than fleeting emotional states. Emotional reactivity often leads to impulsive decisions that we later regret. But when you can regulate your emotional responses, you become proactive instead of reactive. You take ownership of your actions and ultimately your life. And according to research from the Journal of Behavioral Decision Making, people who can regulate their emotions tend to make better long-term decisions, whether in business, relationships, or personal development. Now, emotional mastery also correlates with higher levels of achievement and fulfillment. Goldman's studies on emotional intelligence reveal that Emotional regulation skills are linked to leadership success, strong interpersonal relationships, and even better physical health. Now, additionally, there are compelling research showing that people who practice emotional mastery experience reduced levels of cortisol, the stress hormone, and improved immune function. The ripple effect of mastering your emotions extends beyond mental clarity It impacts your entire well-being. So, as you leave here today, I want you to take this thought with you. Mastering your emotions is not about becoming immune to life's challenges, but about navigating through them with intention and purpose. Emotional mastery is an ongoing journey of awareness, understanding, and choice. Every time you choose to pause and understand rather than react, you're reshaping your brain and transforming your life. The next time you feel overwhelmed by anger, fear, or frustration, remember, you are in control. You hold the wheel. The storms of your life will come and go, but you decide how to steer through them. And the more you practice emotional mastery, the more resilient focused, and empowered you will become. So ask yourself, what would your life look like if you were no longer a passenger to your emotions, but the master of them? This is your challenge, and the answer is within you to reach. It begins today. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Don't forget I care about you. I believe in you. And if anybody's got this, You absolutely do. You know why? Because you're worth it 100%. I'll be back tomorrow with some more great stuff. Take care of yourself. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Talk to you later.